Shalom, shalom, praise the Lord. My name is Charlie G. This is Lesser Today. Thank you very much for tuning in for us, Lesser Today. I know that you believe that each and every one of us are going to be blessed by us, Lesser Today. In that, of, uh, in the Bible talks about, I was blind, but now I see. I was dead, but now I'm alive. I was lost, but now I'm found. And uh, we are, have shared about the lost coin, the lost sheep, the prodigal son. And so I'm going to share about, I was dead, but now I'm alive. I'm alive in that uh, there are a couple of songs that usually saying that I was a dead man walking, I was a dead man walking, but Jesus Christ, He called us out by name, but Jesus Christ, He called us by name, and it's gonna be a wonderful journey, it's gonna be an explicit journey, and that each and every one of us are gonna be found having. And so, it's my prayer, my heart is uh, for each and every one of us that we shall grow in our uh, in knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the forest, he said that I consider everything as lost for the excellent knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our uh, Lord Jesus Christ said that this is eternal life, knowing God the true God and Jesus Christ the Son of whom he sent. And so, the more you continue on knowing God, the more you continue on experience, experiencing experiencing this eternal life. This eternal life doesn't start when we die, but it began the day that you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That's when. <coughs> Uh, sorry, that's when your life with him began. And so let each any one of us always be glad that we are born again. And that's the theme for our month in that I'm glad I'm born again. And so I pray in my it's my prayer, my heart is that each any one of us will are in that as we continue on sharing, as we continue on meditating upon it, in that I'm glad I'm born again, as we continue on with our praying and fasting, in that let each any one of us get to realize and get to discover all the beauty that lies in each and in us being born again. I'm glad I'm born again. Born, born, born again. I'm glad I'm born again, born, born, born again. I'm glad I'm born again, born, born, born again. I'm glad I'm born again, born, born, born again. I'm glad I'm born again. And so I don't know in what um in what uh, in what area the Lord is calling you to. I don't know in what new thing the Lord is calling you to. But in my prayer, my heart is that you shall trust Him, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, and lean not and lean not on your own understanding but in on all your ways acknowledge god in all your ways acknowledge god and so it is it is nothing um in the fortune but as believers as christian in that we should always live the kind of life that the enemy not be able to bring us down the enemy not be able to to make us stop uh, to make us fall uh, stop following the, the lord in the, the book of Acts, the book of Acts talks about the early church, talks about the early church, and now Peter, full of the Holy Ghost, is stood before multitude, he was preaching to them, the word of the Lord, about the believers in the, uh, of the, uh, the apostles who were persecuted, and then they prayed for boldness, and they stood, and um, they prayed for boldness, and they were glad that they were, uh, they were persecuted because of the name of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, and also let it be encouraged to each and every one of us, blessed are those of whom are persecuted because of his name, and in the month of October, in the month of October, we shall be looking at them, be attitudes, be attitudes, in the month of october uh, uh, november so in the month of november we'll be looking at them be attitude the be attitudes and then knowing that you will believe that each and every one of us are gonna be blessed and so i was lost and now i'm found you have looked at it and so this week um, we're gonna be looking at i was i was dead but now i'm alive i was dead but now i'm i'm alive so let us pray. Almighty and Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm grateful for yet another opportunity and a privilege uh, given unto me, O God, to share your word, O God. And dearly, Father, let the entrance of your word bring light, bring light and understanding to the simple of God for the glory and honor of the name of God. Your word is already established in the heaven, O God. And dearly, Father, how I speak that your word shall be established in our lives, O God, for the glory and honor of the name of God. For each and every one of us, O God, a God who knows of our high desires, O God, a God who knows of where we are, O God, a God who knows of what you're going through, of what we are going through, O God. And dearly, Father, how I pray that your light shall shine. Dear God, to retain every one of us, O God, for our enemies have no reason to blot of us, over us, O God. We may have fallen, O God, but we will rise, O God. We are in the darkness, O God, by the God who goes, God. The God is going to shine your light upon each and every one of us. The God is going to shine your light upon each and every one of us, O God. Be magnified and be glorified. Then, dearly Father, let your word be sitting up, be a seat in our hearts, and be a fruit in our life. And this is a prayer of faith that I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, as, as less of today, we are doing the book of John. We are doing the book of John. Just 21 chapters, it was 21 chapters, and so I usually encourage people to take part. And for me, I usually just pick a verse and get to share up on it. In that, in that many verses, I usually, um, many verses usually encourage me, but uh, but I usually just pick one. And so, for sure, one of us, in that when we commit ourselves 
into studying the word of the Lord. And that in the book of Ezra, in the book of Ezra, in the book of Ezra, it says that and Ezra devoted his life to studying the word of the Lord, to practicing it, and to teaching it to other people. In that, as you're studying the word of the Lord, practice it. And whatever works out for you and whatever you find that it's real, whatever a word comes alive in your life in that, then you can be able to share it with other people. And Ezra devoted his life to studying the word of the Lord, uh, studying the law of the Lord, the word of the Lord, the law of the Lord, to practicing it. And so it can be practiced. It's meant to be practiced. It's not for each any word of us. Uh, that's why James Christ is saying that let us not only be hearers of the word, but also doers of the word. Let us be found being doers of the word, because those of whom shall be found, those of whom are doers of the word, the ones who get to profit, they are the ones who get to benefit from the word. As well, he wanted his life to study the Lord to practicing it. And so it's meant to be practiced, it's meant to be, it's meant to be incorporated in our day-to-day -day life. In our day-to-day -day life. And so, yes, so today we are going to be looking at them. Uh, uh, there are three people who are Lord Jesus Christ raised back to life. There are three people who are Lord Jesus Christ raised back to life. And so I'm going to be sharing about it. And so our first one is going to be Jairus' daughter. I'm trusting the Lord that I'm going to be doing one per day, one per session. And so in the book of Luke chapter 8, verse... Luke chapter 8, verse 14 or 41. Let's see, let's see. Yes, verse 40. Uh, it's going to be quite a journey. But let, let's journey together. Let's journey together. Yeah, in the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 41, it says, uh, When Jesus returned to the other side of the lake, the people welcomed him because they, they had all been waiting for him. People welcomed him because they had been waiting for him. And so, yeah, wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Welcome him. Welcome him. Uh, today I'm using my Bible. It's a good news Bible. I don't usually like carrying it, but I have to carry it. I, I hope you have seen why I don't like carrying it, but I have to carry it. Yeah, waiting for him. Then a man named Jairus arrived. He uh, he was an official in the loyal synagogue. He threw himself down at Jesus' feet and begged him to go to his house because his only daughter, his only daughter, uh, who was 12 years old, was dying. His only daughter, who was 12 years old, was dying. And so there's nothing as bad as death. There's nothing as bad as death. There's nothing as bad as that separation. And here we are seeing that the daughter was 12 years old. And we all know the story of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was 12 years old, he was left in Jerusalem. He was left in Jerusalem by his parents. And then after a day, the parents were looking for him amidst their friends, amidst their relatives, but they could not find Jesus Christ. And then they went back to the temple. They went back to the temple. And going back to the temple, they found our Lord Jesus Christ in that he was sitting, sitting with the elders of the church and he was asking questions. He was went inquiring for them. He was inquiring from them. That's the same thing with many believers. That's the same thing with many Christians in that they go to church, they hear the word of the Lord, they hear the word of the Lord, they say all oh, they are amen, they say all oh, they are hallelujah, but when they come out, they are without the word. Jesus Christ is the word. Jesus Christ is the word. And many people don't realize that they have left without the word. In that, in that Mary and Joseph, in that they didn't realize that they left uh, left without the word. They, they were like all oh, their relatives, all oh, their friends, oh, how have you been, how have you been? They forgot in, in that they didn't remember that they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't realize that they had left the word back that left the word back yeah, they left the word back and so uh and so for me i i i i remember of this of the last summer that i had on sunday i remember it it was from the book of isaiah yes the story is isaiah and we prayed a lot i remember i remember because you see as in and the enemy usually comes to snatch the enemy usually comes to snatch for us uh, for, for, from us the word uh, and so let it not be snatched and so don't leave and so you are seeing here 12 12 12 is 12 12 uh, 12 is usually a number of a number of establishment 12 is usually a number of establishment 12 is usually a number of government a uh, governance establishment uh 24 24 is usually a number of uh like the, uh, in the in the bible read about in the book of revelation you read about the 24 elders the 24 elders the reason why the 24 elders are usually bowing down Bowing down, uh, uh, bowing down uh, before before uh, before the one who sits on the throne is because each and every time they look up, they behold uh, they behold his glory anew. They behold his glory anew, and so they bow down again. They look up, they behold his glory anew. They bow down, uh, they bow down again. They behold his glory anew. They bow down again. In, in that they, in that God has given unto them a free will. In that they don't do it religiously. They don't do it religiously, but they do it out of revelation. They do it uh, they do it willingly out of revelation because of what they behold. And so our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was 12 years old, 12 is the number of governance, establishment, yeah, 
and so and so he had this a, a, this a, a daughter who was 12 years old 12 years old and she was dying she was dying in that in that the parent them the dad was looking at Jairus. Uh, he was an official in the loyal synagogue he threw himself down at, at, at Jesus feet and begged at Jesus feet and begged him to go to his house because his daughter was and was 12 years old was dying and he knew that Jesus Christ our Lord Jesus Christ in that we shall continue on uh, reading about it as Jesus Christ I don't want to go beyond um, I, I don't want to go ahead of myself yes I just went along the people who are crowding uh, crowding him from every side among them was a woman who has suffered severely as well suffered severe bleeding for 12 years and so 12 years I had this from uh, from John Gray yeah John Gray and then he was saying that he was saying that this woman was going this woman with the issue of blood was going through the issue of blood in that the same in that the lifespan of Jairus daughter he was going through the issue of blood the lifespan of Jairus daughter 12 12 12 in that when she was born some another lady was in pain when she was born in that house there was celebration in that house there was um jubilation uh jubilation <laughs> sorry i don't know the word, uh, of the pronunciation of that word well but i'm seeing it jubilation celebration there was all celebrating oh a child has been born a child has been born the only daughter of jairus had been born had been born um i don't know if he had other sons but that's then something for each and every one of us to ponder on him and then this is a lady and then i remember one time i was traveling to town and then the holy spirit of god in that i got uh, the holy spirit of god was like uh, uh, uh reminded me of this word and so i i shared telling if there's any lady having an issue of blood if there's any lady having an issue of blood at the same way that the woman with the issue of blood touched the clock or just in that i was speaking healing to them or speaking healing to them because the word of the lord is the word of the lord is uh, is relevant to each and every one of us and that's why as i've said as well said the word of the lord and practice it i want to be a practitioner yes I want to be a practitioner of the word of the Lord. I want to be a doer of the word of the Lord. I want to really do it, really do it, really do it. So that I can reap of his benefit. Among them was a woman who suffered from severe blood for 12 years. She had spent all, all she had in, in, in doctors. And so how do you know it's spiritual? You know that it's spiritual when, when the things that you are doing are not, are not helping out. When you're seeing, because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, stealing, stealing, stealing. He just drink from your account, drink from your account, drink everything you're having, drink everything you're having, and then you're left with nothing. Uh, and so she has, spent, um, she has spent all she had on doctor, but no one had been able to cure her. She came up in the crowd behind Jira. And the other version that said that she ended up being even worse. It ended up even being worse. It ended up even being worse. And you see, when it keeps on becoming worse, in that is for you to, to know that Jesus Christ is the one who's able to help you out. He's the one who's able to help you out. She came up in the crowd behind Jesus and touched the edge of his cloak, and her bleeding stopped at once. Her bleeding stopped at once because she had the faith she had the faith and faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the lord i have i've ever shared of a testimony of another lady when she was uh, reading the bible she read about in that she got she uh, she got to uh, she got to suffer from um, I, I bet i don't know if a, a leg was something of a, in a problem and then she read about the angel of the lord was coming down and they're staring at the water and then the first one who got into the water received their healing and so she took water and then stirred it up stirred it up stirred it up and then for the past uh, for them and then she dipped her feet there she faith 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 and the bleeding stopped at once she just asked who touched me everyone denied it and peter said master the people are the people all around you are crowding in you and so and so i was uh, listening at this uh, uh, from victoria victoria austin the wife of joel austin victoria austin and then she was saying that press 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 through press through press through and then she was saying that I'm um, in that there's a grace of pressing through, press through, press through, press through for your miracle, press through for your miracle, press through for your miracle, press through the crowd for your miracle. And so that is the same to each and every one of them. In that don't allow the crowd to keep you from Jesus. Don't allow the crowd to keep you from Jesus. And our our leading verse for the uh, for the uh, for the month comes from the book of can the book uh, from the book of uh, Luke chapter 18. Uh, yeah, the story of. Ladder. Luke chapter 19, sorry. Luke chapter 19, the story of Zacchaeus. Luke chapter 19, verse 4. Uh, no, verse 8. Yeah. Luke chapter 19, verse 8. The story of Zacchaeus, our theme, verse 4 for the month. Our theme, verse for the month. 
yeah it's always good to remember it's always good to remember of what we are we are standing with everyone denied it and peter said master the, uh, the people who are the people are all around you and crowding in in you but just said someone touched me for i knew it when power went out of me and so if, if jesus christ realized that power left it means that he was aware of the power that he was carrying and the same thing which any one of us are you aware of the power that you're carrying uh, Peter in the book of Acts says that gold and sil silver we don't have, but what I have I give you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up on your feet and walk. This guy did not ask for a miracle. This guy did not ask for a killing. But Peter was like, silver and gold I don't have, but what I have I give unto you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand on your feet and walk. Stand on your feet and walk. And so that's the, and so, and so that's the beautiful thing. In that sometimes it's for each and every one of us as believers, as Christians, in that faith is crazy. Faith is crazy. In that faith cannot be understood by people who are carnal. Faith cannot be understood by people who are of the world. Faith is crazy. And so let in that it's something that cannot be understood by people. And so Peter, Peter was like, what I have, I give unto you. And so this being a question to each and every one of us, do you recognize, do you realize of what you are having? If you don't know what you are having, then you cannot know how to use it and you cannot know when it leaves you our lord jesus christ in that in that when when samson when samson was uh when samson uh, was uh, was like playing with the, the, the lila let me use the word playing because many people believe as many christians in that we should not play they are not be found playing because when we are playing playing up uh, 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 when we are playing playing in that we shall not, we shall not realize of when something leaves us and then samson was uh, samson had, had not realized that the holy spirit of god had, had, had left him and so he woke up trying to uh he woke up trying to break in the rope trying to uh, try to break the rope but nothing happened nothing happened because the holy spirit of god had departed from him uh for uh, for us the holy spirit of god has not departed from us in that he he still remains with us but the thing is all, all about in, in that in that in the bible talks about for god is able to do as he later but him far beyond what could ever imagine or even ask for according to the power that's at work in us and so which power is at work in you that is surely the question that is surely the challenge in that for each one of us different power is surely working in us depending on how much i know how much you desire on how much you engage in praying and fasting and seeking the lord uh everyone denied and peter said uh by 46 but just said someone touched me for i knew it when power went out of me the woman saw that she had been found out so she came trembling and drew herself at jesus feet then in front of everybody she told him why uh, why she had touched him and how she had been healed at once just said to her my daughter your faith has made you well go in peace i've shared about that going in peace salem 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 shalom shalom salem in that the words of peace killing carry shalante kezeri barante so your faith has made you well go in peace your faith in in that in that it was a faith in the lord just guys it was not a faith just like that because it was, it, if it was a faith just like that she could have been healed in her home she could have been healed in the street she could have been healed before she went to the doctor's inn she could have been healed anywhere but she had to go to jesus christ it was her faith in jesus that had made her well and then Jesus Christ had to speak to her, go in peace. Peace is very important so that our healing will not be taken away from us. You see, when the devil takes away your peace, when the devil takes away your peace, when the devil, when the devil starts causing you a shaking, when the devil starts bringing to you a storm, in that, in that things that are affecting you and they stop affecting you will come back. And then verse 59 says that while Jesus was saying this message, uh, this, uh, this, a messenger came from the official's house. Yeah. Your daughter has died. He told Jairus, don't bother the teacher any longer. But Jesus heard it and said to Jairus, don't be afraid, only believe. Don't be afraid, only believe. And so, I'm, I'm, and so, and so this is the word I'm speaking to each and every other. Let us not be afraid, let us believe, let us believe, let us believe. Let us not be afraid. Rema shitante kezere makiz zantaka li kante ribarande. And she will be well. Rema kikanze ribarara rende ribarande. The first thing, karisha takaze te ribarande. Don't be afraid. Resha takaze te keze ribarande. The second thing, la kaze te ribarande. Believe. Royasa te keze ribarande. Believe, risa taki zeteri baraya. See it, perceive it, reshe teke zeteri bara. That being kalis zeteri bara is gonna be well with her. And so today I'm I'm gonna speak about. Uh, and so <laughs> yeah. So today I'm speaking about. I was dead, but now I live. And so let us continue on. Verse 21 say that when he arrived at at the home, he would not uh, he would not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James. Sometimes, sometimes. Uh, in that the holding of hands when praying for the sick sometimes uh sometimes it's sometimes it's never good uh because uh you see here our lord just guys in that he 
he just went in with Peter, James, and John. And we know that Peter, James, and John were, uh, were is in a circle. Were, he is in a circle. And there's one time Peter was praying for uh, Peter. Peter was praying for uh, for Tabitha. And then he told the women who are there, "You go out." He was left alone. He was left alone. Sometimes in the, sometimes it's all about you alone with the God whom you know. You alone with the God whom you serve. In that, uh, in that, sometimes when people are holding hands, some people can cause a limitation. In that, for you are saying today, 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 someone else is saying, God, when it will be your will, God, when your time will be right. In that, you see all of this, and uh, all of this unbelief and belief, um, all, all this unbelief and belief that are there. In that, anyone who is double minded receives nothing from the Lord. And so, for you who are not double minded, you should not be with those of whom are double minded. And so, here, Lord Jesus Christ, in that, He did not let anyone go in with Him except. Peter, jo uh, Peter, John, and James. Peter, John, and James. Uh, I have a step brother called Peter and James, and my brother is called John. I was wondering why, why, why was it I among him? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, everyone, everyone uh, there was crying and mourning uh, for for the child. Just say, do not cry. The child is not yet is not dead. She is only sleeping. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a talk. This is a, a talk of faith. This is a talk of faith. And also, me, I'm looking forward to raising the dead. Karebario sante kezente, karebaria sante kezere karia shentereba. Because I know the will of God is not death. The will of God wants people to die, and that's why our Lord Jesus Christ came. The reason why our Lord Jesus Christ had to come on earth is so that each and every one of us can be able to know what's the will of God, what's the will of our Father. The will of our Father is for none to be sick, none to die, none to suffer, none to be in pain. Yes, verse 53 says that they all made fun of him. <laughs> These people were mourning and now they were making fun of Jesus Christ. This is a scorning spirit, a scorning spirit, a spirit that scorns you. They all made fun of him because they knew that she was dead. But Jesus took her by the hand and, and called out, Get up, child. Her life returned and she got up at once. Get up, child. Her life returned. Her life returned. Meaning what? Her life had, had left. And I can read from other version in that in that Rima Sitanteri Barrio Sataka Kitenteri Barante. Also when Risha Ranteri Barara Rande Kere Barande Elijah. Also when Elijah Rishante Kezere Barante Ikataki Kanzeri Barande. Or is Elisha? The Anta Kiante. The Shona my woman. The very is Elisha. Elisha in that in the Bible talks about his life returned to him. So that's a thing, in that our body without life, without the spirit, in that it's dead. And so here I say that her life returned to her. The same thing even when Elisha was praying for the child, in that his life returned. There's a, there's a return to the body. I get up, her life returned, and she got up at once and just ordered them to give us something to eat. So that's what, that's what I, I was waiting for that part. Just Christ gave her, I just Christ ordered for her to be given something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but just commanded them not to tell anyone what happened. And so that's it. And so I was there, and now I'm alive. It's, it's a life for each and every one of us. Once you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, in that you should eat. You should eat, not physical food as you used to eat. In that now you should eat the word. The word of the Lord, um, Jesus Christ said that, Jesus Christ said that um, he is the bread of life. In the book of John chapter 6, uh, Jesus Christ uh, says that he is the bread of life. He is the bread of life. He is the true bread of life, true bread of heaven, true, true, not the one that the, not the one that our ancestors used to eat in the wilderness, in that they ate it and they later on died. But Jesus Christ is the true bread of life. Jesus Christ is the true bread of life. And so this is the reason why each and every one of us, we need the word of the Lord. Having the word of the Lord inside our life is having... Having the word of the Lord inside our life is so that we can stay alive. It's so that we can stay alive. Because when someone receives Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, they get to be, when someone gets to receive Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, they get to come alive. In the Bible, in the book of Genesis, when God told Adam and Eve, when you shall eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die. They ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they died. How did they die? They died spiritually. And each and every one of us, when we are born, we are surely born spiritually dead. And that's why when someone is spiritually dead, you cannot call to God, you cannot pray to God. God has never, if you're, if you're not born again, if you haven't received Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, know this, you're not, you're not born again. No. Uh, if you're not received Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, know this, that God never hears your prayer. God has never heard your prayer. In that you've been just living, be living by His mercies. God has never heard your prayer. Sometimes people are usually like, that's a lie, that's a lie, I've been praying, God has been answering. I sure it's God or the devil. 
people will be like battling saying that the devil cannot give me anything that's a lie who told you because in the book of john chapter 8 verse 44 uh, let me read for you a verse that will help you understand what i'm saying in the book of john chapter 8 verse 44 it says that john 8 44 it says what uh, it says uh, you are you are the children of your father the devil and you want to follow his your father's desires from the be very beginning he was a murderer and has never been on the side of truth because there's no truth in him when he tells a lie he, he is only doing what is natural to him because he's a liar and the father of all lies just Christ telling the Pharisees your father is the devil the Pharisees do not like rebuke it the Pharisees do not like tell him or uh, you're telling a lie and that's why each and every one of us being born again is very important in the book of Isaiah it says that for God's ears eight death nor is he um, for, for the ear of God eight death nor uh, is arm to short wish and to arm but our iniquity our iniquity has hidden the face of the Lord from us and that's why our Lord Jesus Christ had to die on the cross so that each and every one of us can be forgiven of our sin it's only when your sins is forgiven that's when you shall be able to call unto God that's when you shall be able to call God Abba in the, in the book of Romans talks about having the we are having the spirit of adoption who lives inside of us who enable us to call God Abba Father who enable us to call God Abba Father and so if you're not born again know this truth God has never had your prayer you have only believing with his masses you have only believing with his masses in that we are all his creation but you're not all his children we're all his creation but we're not all his children you only become you only get to become a child of God once you receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and so in the book of Genesis when God told Adam and Eve when you shall eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil shall surely die they die spiritually and that's why and that's why I was dead but now I'm alive I was dead but now I'm alive there's a song by Lacrae called zombie <laughs> The song by Lacre called Zambi in that in that that's how we were. That's how we were before life, before love happened to us, before our Lord Jesus Christ met us. In that in that there's usually that heartbeat. You see, as in uh, the reason why uh, if you're not born again, you are you are spiritually dead. There's a separation from God, and that's why you can sin, you can lie, you can drink, you can live wildly. It's because you are, it's because you are dead. It's because you are dead. You see, someone who's dead in the mortuary, even if you beat them, even if you burn them, in that they feel nothing. People will be living, cheating, lying, doing doing all sorts of things, feeling nothing. It's because of what they're spiritually dead. But once they receive just as a Lord and Savior, in that they shall come to realization that cheating is bad, lying is bad, drinking is bad, living wildly is bad and that comes and then the people are like why was i doing it why was i doing it why was i doing it that's the thing in that they were spiritually dead and so our lord just cried the jairus daughter he said that i give us something to eat it's like the same thing to change in front of us once you receive just Christ, the lord is here you need the word of the lord you need the word of the lord this is the word that sustains us this is the word that makes us that the same way like a little child a little, a little child is surely be given uh, if, uh being uh, being breastfed for the uh, for the first few months and then later on they shall be given solid food that's the same thing and if all of us once you receive just cast a lord and say we have been born again and that's why the theme of our month is that i'm glad i'm born again i'm glad i'm born again born 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 again i'm glad i'm born again uh just Christ told i just Christ told the Kodema, unless one is born of spirit uh, unless one is born of water and of spirit being born of water is being born of the word of the lord in the in the bible talks about the word of the lord is water that sanctify us the word of the lord is like is water when uh, when jesus christ was on the cross he was pierced he was pierced by the side when he was pierced by the side blood and water came out blood and water came out blood to forgive us of our sins water so as to wash us, so as to cleanse us, and, uh, and and the word of the Lord in that He cleanses us, it sanctifies us, and so that's why each and every of us we need the word of the Lord. We need the word of the Lord in that I was dead, but now I'm alive. I was dead, but now I'm alive. In that now you shall be able to connect back to God. In that in in that is usually like a resuscitation, resuscitation. In that in that in that the way people in a hospital, someone is dying, the heart beat, the heart beat, the heart beat is failing, and then and then they. The doctor like take the, take the child and they like and then she uh, he or she does like this and they like one two <laughs> and then and then and then they hear the they hear the sound of the machine maybe it's going titi 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 and then and then he's like uh, and then he's like uh, I'd be more power I'd be more power and then they do it again like Doof. and then if it's if it's if if they do it correctly the person heartbeat comes back to normal and the same thing to people people who are living in sin in that their heartbeat is slowly fading away their heartbeat is slowly fading away and that's why you need that the assistation rehearsation in that <laughs> yeah the word of the lord is alive and active and so each and every one of us in that keeper 
something to eat. We need what the word of the Lord. And that's why this is called the slice of today ministry. As long as it's today, God gives us his bread. Uh, our Father what in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As in the heaven give us this day our daily bread. Each and every day we are sustained by bread. And so it's all about each and every one of us living a life of depending upon the Lord, waiting upon the Lord. That's the thing about being born again. None of us will appear in heaven by mistake. None of us will end up in heaven and then, and then you hear the angels telling you, surprise, welcome to heaven. And then you'll be like, oh, I didn't know I'm coming to heaven. <laughs> In the future, any word of us, you only end up in heaven by receiving just because the Lord is here. So, shalom, shalom. Till next time, may God bless you and keep you.